Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my monthly shop, my stash. I'm going to try and do things a little bit differently this month. I've been really inspired by Glam Mom here on YouTube. She does hers weekly, I do my monthly, but I want to try and incorporate a little bit of her style. I really enjoy it and just see how I like it. I might go back to how I'm doing things currently, but we're just going to try something a little bit new this month. But definitely let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy this style. This is what my drawer is currently looking like. This bin here is here because these are my project pan items and I need to film my project pan update. So I've pulled them into this basket. I usually do that for the videos I'm filming just to keep everything separate and I can you know, list and link in my description box as needed. Okay, so here's a slightly better angle. If you've watched my Shop My Stash videos before, you know this. Um, little container here it's actually a cover off of a lush like holiday gift set is like my testing section things have moved around a little bit I've stacked my palettes here as well as I have my blush palette I'm testing out right now the box for the brush set I'm testing and then these are all the eyeshadow palettes I have in my drawer this month this bin up here are all the lip products that I actually used this past month now instead of me giving you reviews etc and pulling things out in the beginning I feel like that was getting a little repetitive and we are spending too much time staring into this drawer in my other videos so I'm just going to quickly give you an overview and then we're going to jump into my makeup collection you'll see what I mean in a second but a lot of these things are going to stay because I just did a first impressions video which is what a lot of these are from I still need to get my full thoughts on I do know for sure that this blush is going to come out. This is from Studio Makeup. It's a loose blush. I have used this quite a few times and it's been in quite a few rotations. So I have my thoughts on that. All of these are going to come out right off the bat. But we'll discuss everything else in a little bit. Coming over to this side of my drawer, things are looking a little bit different. So I actually moved my single shadows up here to the front because I just wasn't using them when I had them in the back and I had my palettes here because I would just reach for a palette every single time. And that was kind of defeating the purpose of pulling single eyeshadows as I wanted to get use out of them. So I moved them front and center so that I have to at least look at them before I decide to pull a palette, which I moved over to the side as you saw. These are all of my other, you know, brow and eye products, mascaras, liners, all that sort of stuff. This was the setting spray I had this month. It is literally maybe one more use left in this. This is the e.l.f. one. This is primer, foundation, and concealer here in this drawer. I'm just going to move this out of the way for a second so I can show you what I've kind of got going on over here. So I was noticing I was pulling these products um, at various times throughout the month, but because they weren't in my shop, my stash, I would then put them back. I've decided to just keep them in here as good staples. So this is a Project Beauty setting spray, which I hate the sprayer on. It is like a fire hose, I swear. So I only use this to foil my shadows and I was using whichever setting spray I had pulled in for the month but I figured that was kind of wasting it since I don't want to use this on my face anyways. Probably once that's gone or my MAC Fix Plus I might depot this into a bottle with a sprayer I like more. Sorry I'm losing my voice as always but for now I'm going to use keep this in here for foiling my shadows. Pencil sharpener I moved over here. This is the e.l.f. glitter primer. Um, like I said, I was reaching in for this when I needed it and then putting it back, but it's one of those staple products. I only have one of, so I'm not going to pull it into my rotation and only use it for one month. So I'm just going to keep it in here. Same goes for this white foundation mixer. If I pull in a foundation that's slightly too dark or whatever, it's good to just have in here. And I also moved these shitty baby wipes um, into here. I use these just for swatches. They smell very strongly of alcohol and I'm not using that on my baby so I use them on my hand. And then this looks pretty much the same. These are all of my cheek products up here. 
but I'm going to move us over to my makeup collection now. Okay, now this is my like new in product drawer. I'm trying to start with this each month. Um, last time I waited until the last, because this is the, well, the second to last drawer in this Alex set, but the bottom drawer is nail polish, so that's besides the point. This looks a lot different than the last time you guys would have seen this. Since my last Shop My Stash, I did my Bought It, Forgot It. I organized this drawer by age of product, essentially. These products here were received or purchased in 2017, the later half. They aren't over a year old, but they're like between a year and six months old. So these are like top priority to test out. And then there's a lot of stuff back here that you can't really see that well. I'll adjust you for a second. All that stuff back there has been purchased like within since the new year. So although I want to get to that obviously pretty soon because that's stuff I've gotten more recently, I need to decide what to do with this stuff first. And since I just did that first impressions video and you saw that my testing section of my drawer is quite full already, the only thing I want to pull in is this NYX eyeshadow here. I was inspired by Angelica here on YouTube to start playing with more color. Sorry, that was probably loud. To start playing with more color, and I was reminded that I bought this quite a while ago. This is in the shade Mermaid. It went on clearance and then marked down again because nobody wanted it, apparently. But apparently these NYX Prismatic Shadows are really great, and this is like a minty, shimmery green shade. I don't know if you guys can really see the true color of that. There we go, like it is so beautiful and I figured the summer is the perfect time to try it. So this is the only thing I'm going to be pulling in from the new drawer this time. Okay, now this is where you're going to kind of see the new style I was going for. So first up, let's do the palettes. As you saw, these were all of the palettes that I had in my makeup drawer right now. This is the Alomar palette. I, we just got this in BoxyCharm, <clears throat> so I need to keep this in. I'm so sorry about my voice. This BH palette I've had in for two rotations, I think, but I'm just going to keep it in. This is the perfect summer palette for me to start experimenting with color more. I've been using this a ton, actually, and I'm having so much fun with it. I don't have any other palettes with bright colors like this. This is my first one. It was kind of... I don't know, a shot in the dark, I guess. I didn't know if it was going to be good. I didn't know if I was going to use it, but I've been loving it, so I am going to keep this in. I doubt I'm going to use this in the fall and winter months, so I better get as much use as possible this summer. I did use this Naked Cosmetics little trio of pressed pigments. We got this in BoxyCharm quite a while ago, and I pulled it in to specifically use this olive green shade and I did that. I also used this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette quite a bit as well. I pulled this in to kind of be the counterpart to the Weekend Festival palette just because I was worried about not having enough neutrals. This is something that I didn't show in my last Shop My Stash but that I kind of curated and popped in after the fact. And this was kind of like my peachy palette I pulled some singles for. This is Urban Decay Fireball, this is MAC Nylon, and the other four are all Makeup Geek, I believe. Yeah. So this was just like a peachy, warm palette. I only used it once. Um, I don't have a peach palette, like I don't have any of those peachy palettes that came out in the spring. So I kind of curated my own here and I have been using this, so I'm gonna keep this in. Well, I used it once, like I said. This little Z palette has six Ofra shades and one Luxie shade. And I actually did use this shade quite a bit this month and I think this one. So that's enough use for me, I think, with singles in a palette like that, just to use a few shades. 
So I was getting a little overwhelmed with the amount of palettes that I had this time. So I put away three. I have three here. So I think I'm only going to pull in one. And now this is where it's gonna get a little different. I'm going to start, potentially, if I like how this works out, literally rotating my palette. So the new ones that I had just used, I put over here. And I had kind of been doing this a little bit, but not strictly. If I really wanted to use something, I would grab it. So I'm going to take this palette here on the far left. This is the Pure Soiree Diaries palette. It's a great neutral palette and I feel like I don't really have one of those this time and that's all I'm going to pull in. And then like these will shift along if that makes sense. These were the single shades that I had pulled in. This looks a little bit different than last time as well. I put in these little containers and I have my cream based shadows over here, just regular um, singles there and there's like a little trio back there. And then those are like my more glitter type of things. I have like li liquid glitter, I have pigments, that sort of stuff in that bin over there. Out of this here, I only used two things. I used the Cover FX Shimmer Veil in Amethyst and this J-Cat Blinkle Shimmer Eyeshadow in Tangerine. And as you saw, I already pulled in the NYX one. So I'm going to pull in, I have two more glitter or pigments. I'm going to put these back and rotate them like this again. I think I'm going to pull in ColourPop Kathleen Lights. This is a super warm kind of MAC Amber Lights type of shade, but much more metallic. I'm going to pull this shade in. So that's what I have here for singles. Okay, here we are with foundation, concealer, powder, setting spray, and primers. I have everything in here. So as you saw for setting spray, I have this e.l.f. one in my drawer right now, but there's literally like one use left in there, I think. So I'm going to pull in the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray because I had my MAC Fix Plus in the time before that. For powder, I had this Bare Minerals powder and I got quite a bit of use out of this, so I'm going to put this back. I want to pull in my Bare Minerals Duo here to get more use out of this. It has a matte and a glowy side. So this is the translucent powder I'm going to pull in. And I'm also going to pull in this e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder because I'm not going to pull in a contour palette this time. I'm just kind of over it right now. So I'm gonna pull this in to set my under eyes. So this is what I had in for foundations and concealers. So I have a foundation both in my project pan and in my testing drawer. And I feel like five is definitely a lot. So I am going to keep my CoverGirl BB cream because I feel like I didn't use this enough. I'm going to put these back. I got quite a bit of use out of quite a bit of use out of both of these. I've kind of moved these foundations around. These two are much too light for me in the summer, so I've just put them towards the back. I'm going to set these in here like this, trying to keep a little bit of order. And I'm going to pull in this e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. So that leaves me with four for the month. I think that is more than enough. Pop this over there a little bit. For concealers, I had the MAC Pro Longwear and the ColourPop No Filter. I used both of these a ton. I do have a concealer in my testing um, section. So, I, But I am going to pull in two more. These are both summer shades I need to use, you know, in the summer as you do. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in 10 Light and the Morphe Concealer in Bare Skin. This is very dry, it is what I'm thinking, so I don't know if I'm going to like this, but I'm going to test it out. This is the only primer I have left in here that's not in my project pan or anything, and I'm not the biggest fan of this. But this is going to go back for now. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I think I want something mattifying because um, I'm getting pretty oily. So I'm going to pull in this Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer here. It's just a little sample, so I should use that up. And 
yeah, I think that's it. I still have like the Benefit Professional and stuff to use, so I think that's going to be good. All right, guys, I'm sorry if this is kind of seem, seeming a little uncomfortable. It definitely is out of my comfort zone and it's completely different to how I've done it in the past. If you like the idea of this, definitely let me know so I can continue to get better or we'll just go back to how I was doing things before. This is my least favorite drawer just because I don't have any organizers to organize like the variety of shapes and products that are in here. So these are like blush palettes and creams, um, highlight palettes. There is cream and liquid highlights back there and then these are contour kits. I didn't want these in my regular like blush and highlight drawer but that left me with this messy situation here. So for liquid highlights, I had in this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, and I actually didn't use this, so this is going to stay. For contour kits, I had in the Too Faced Cocoa Contour, and I used this a ton, but I'm just not that into contouring currently, so I was literally only using light cocoa, which is why I... Sorry, I only have one hand and this is kind of awkward. Which is why I opted to pull in that e.l.f. under eye setting powder instead and just give me some more space in here. So I'm going to put this back and slide it under. Like I'm trying to literally rotate everything and not just pull like what I feel like it within reason, of course. This is the Real Her Be Fearless Be Limitless blush kit. I used this a handful of times. They're pretty dry, but I actually like enjoyed how my makeup turned out when I used these, but I don't like reach for it that often. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I did use this and I don't dislike it, so I'm not going to declutter it. Keep these kind of separate too. So I am going to pull in this Pacifica blush duo as like my blush type of palette here. And I completely forgot in my other drawer I had set this up top um, as a reminder, which obviously didn't work, that I wanted to pull this in. So now I have, I'm back to having four foundations, but whatever, whatever doesn't get used, I'll just keep in for next time. Okay, for highlight palette, I had in this Makeup Geek Kathleen Lights collab. I used this a ton, only these two shades, because that shade is much too dark for my skin tone. But I'm going to slide this back in here. I need maybe like a liner that kind of grips these a little better. So that means I'm pulling in this Pure Bronze and Brighten. So Liv loves her makeup. I believe said she really loved the blush with a light hand and she has a similar like fair to light skin tone as me. So I'm gonna try that again, even though I'm terrified. The highlight is absolutely stunning and the bronzer is literally like a metallic bronze eyeshadow. Oh, I'm not sure how you could use that on your cheeks, so I might use it on my eyes a few times just to get use out of it, but this is up next. Okay, here we are in my powder, blush, bronzer, and highlight drawer. We're going to start off with blush on the left. So, of course, excluding my Project Pan, which is set aside. These were the three blushes I had in, and I used all three of them, so they are gonna go back. Oh, how did this guy get in here? That's a cream blush. Oh yeah, and as well as this um, loose powder blush. So as you can see, I'm trying to rotate these through. Four blushes I think is a good number in total. So I have one in my project pan, so I'm going to pull three. Up front here we have MAC Melba, which is a great peachy shade, perfect for these warmer months. This is the Seraphine Botanicals in Happy Hibiscus. This is a more like deep, naturally toned blush. And up top here, I had pulled this as a reminder to use it. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Plum Rose. Um, I still don't have a great handle on how I feel about this, so I'm going to pull that in. 
and shift all of these forward. For bronzer, I have two here. I have the NYC Sun in Bronze and the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep. I don't know why I have medium deep, but <laughs> that's what I have. I actually have <clears throat> a bronzer in my project pan and I have two that I'm testing currently. So I'm only going to pull in one. And I'm going to break my own rules already. So up next is the Kevin Aquan contour palette, powder I mean, and as I keep saying I'm not really that into contour right now so I'm going to leave him up front here. But that means that the Tarte Amazonian clay blush, this is the original one. I also have the waterproof version and notice a different in the difference in the shade. So this is the original one that I'm going to be pulling in. But this is the waterproof one, which I find to be slightly more cool toned. Like there is definitely a difference in shade. Can you see that? This is waterproof, this one is not waterproof. So that's why I've kept both. I received both of these in Ipsy bags at one time or another. This one was back here. But anyways, this one is up and it has a bit of a sheen to it, which I really do enjoy in the summer months. For highlights, I had Becca Champagne Pop. Everyone knows what this looks like, I think. That's what it looks like there. I used this a million times. It's probably one of my favorite highlights for sure. And I also had an Ofra Rodeo Drive, which is a beautiful gold. These types of shades look best on me in the summer when I have a touch of a tan because I am very fair in the winter. So that means I have a Becca Prosecco Pop up next, which is about the same tone as Rodeo Drive. It's much more golden than Champagne Pop. So again, this looks best in the summer months. And I also have this Cougar Diamond Kiss. I don't remember using this a lot. I know it is very, very intense. So I'm gonna get some more use out of that. And if I don't like it, then I'll just declutter it next month. Okay, so this drawer is looking much different and much more empty than before. I actually cleared out a drawer in my Alex system to move some stuff around because this drawer was super full before. It had liquid lipsticks, glosses, bullet lipsticks, these crayons, also lip balms and lip scrubs. Like it had everything in it and it was a little overwhelming. So I actually moved my glosses and liquid lipsticks up. I also pulled out shades that I knew I wouldn't want to wear. I'd be like forcing myself to wear them if I pulled them. Um, except for in the fall and winter, like these are deeper shades. Miami Fever, although beautiful, I prefer this in the fall. Um, there's some super cool tone of brown type of shades in here. Um, deep, like ox blood red, those sorts of shades. So I just moved them and I'll do the same thing once fall hits. Shades that are super summery to me, like this. I will put in this basket and kind of move it aside. I don't want to feel like I'm forcing myself to use things. You know what I mean? So I used mostly liquid lipsticks this time. You saw I had that bin pushed to the back of my drawer. And these were the only two like regular lipsticks that I actually used this month. So this is the Marc Jacobs in Slow Burn. It's like a mauve type of shade, so that can go in there. And this is the Makeup Geek Iconic in Saucy. It's a deep red, but it actually looks a little like berry toned, I guess, on the lips. I had this set up on top because someone had mentioned it in a video this past month. This is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Tea Rose, but I'm actually not feeling that right now. It's pretty mauve so I'm going to pull in this Revlon Lip Butter instead. This is in the shade Cupcake. I don't know if I want to keep this. This is like the most 90s, early 2000s baby pink. Because it is a lip butter, which has since been discontinued, it is very sheer, so I'm going to try and make it work while I have a tan. This looks ri beyond ridiculous on me when I'm fair, um, but if I don't like it, this might be getting decluttered here pretty soon, but I need to pull it in to make sure. So that's the bullet lipstick that's going to replace the Marc Jacobs. 
Now the shape of this makes it kind of hard to rotate. So I'm just going to pull them in, pull them up. So I know I've used the Makeup Geek ones in the last two rotations. I used this not that long ago. That leaves Frida, Lumiere, <clears throat> Poppin, and Honey. I'm actually going to pull in ColourPop Poppin. Poppin? Yeah, this is the Matte X formula. Super vibrant pink. There is their next to Cupcake. Much different pink. Um, this looks amazing with a tan as well. So these are the two I'm going to pull in. I tend to only pull in lip balms and stuff as I need them or as I run out of things. I don't rotate those. I feel like there's not a need. I actually go through that sort of stuff. So no sense in rotating that. Okay, now here is where a lot is going to get pulled in I think because these are the products I've been using the most so these are my glosses here and I have kind of organized them and these are the ones that I've used more recently these ones need more use up front here same with the liquid lipsticks it's not perfect because they do kind of roll over each other and stuff but I'm not going to be that strict I'm not going to get extra long <laughs> containers just so they all lie flat Glosses are going to be easier to start with. These are the four I used this past month. Oh, just kidding. This is a matte liquid lipstick. These are the three I used this month. This is the Juice Beauty Gloss in Fig. It has a bunch of micro glitters in it. It's super beautiful. This is the Maybelline Color Elixir in Breathtaking Apricot. And the Dior Lip Maximizer. I just use this as a gloss, not really a treatment. So I'm going to pull in the three right up front. So I have the mini of the Buxom White Russian. I also have the full size here, but I've opened and used both of them and you can't really sanitize something with a wand. So I may as well use both now that I have both and I really love it. So I don't really feel like I should declutter it just because. This is the Trust Fund Beauty and Method to the Madness. It's kind of a nudie pink kind of shade. And the e.l.f. lip gloss in Brian. This is a pink. So that's a pretty good variety there. I'm going to shift these ahead a little bit to place these ones in the back. See, it's not perfect, but I mean, it works for me. I used seven liquid lipsticks this past month. My nail's breaking. I used the Makeup Geek Showstopper. I really like this. It's a cool toned nude. The NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Athens. This is a light peachy shade. ColourPop Ultra Satin in November. Too Faced Melted Matte in Queen Bee. You probably recognize some of these from my Bought It, Forgot It. I was true to my word. I tried all of them. This is the Too Faced Melted in Chihuahua. This is a gorgeous pinky nude. The L'Oreal Infallible Paints in Spicy Blush. And the NYX Liquid Suede in Kitten Heels. I still have quite a few liquid lipsticks and such. Um, on top of my dresser where I keep the products I have yet to use. So I think I'm going to pull in six, not seven. I had this sitting on top of my Alex drawers as a reminder to use it. This is the e.l.f. Um, matte liquid lipstick in Praline. So I'm going to pull that one in. And then the five in the front. So this is Ofra Pasadena. This is a great nude. Most of these are nudes, if I'm honest. This is the Wet n Wild Cat Suit in Rebel Rose. The Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in Nude Flush. Oh, and two more e.l.f. ones, I guess. This is the e.l.f. in Blushing Rose. And I'm actually going to grab this one as well. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin in Lock Diary. Again, I'm already breaking my own rules, but I don't want three of the same formula, especially since it's really not my favorite formula at all. I'm going to shift these up and put these ones in there like that. Okay, so this was the bin that had all of my eye products in it. I'm going to quickly like sort it a little bit into you know the categories that we have laid out in front of us here okay let's start back here i know you can't really see it all that well these are my eyeshadow primers there's also like lash glue and 
eyelash curlers back here, but I'm going to trade in the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. I use this quite a bit, and I want to pull in the Smashbox Lid Primer in Light. I need to test this out more. It was too dark for me when I first um, got it or pulled it in. There, I think the focus is slightly better now. And now that I have a tan, I feel like I can use it and decide if I want to keep it. So that's the primer I have besides the one in my project pan. For brow gel, I have this Maybelline Brow Drama. I had to pull this in because my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper went bad. This one's close to going off as well, so I'm going to keep this one in. I'm going to put in the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. This is a little trio. I really like this and used it a lot. And I'm going to trade it in for this Peak Brow Powder. I haven't used this in a long time and I want to try a little more of a natural brow this coming month. And I also had this brow pencil. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And my brows need to be done again, which what's new. So I'm going to pull in the ABH Brow Definer. I like using this when my brows are getting a little more unruly because it has a bigger tip. It just makes it easier. Um, rather than when you have thin brows. For mascara, I'm using the MAC in Extreme Dimension little sample. I just pulled this in because my other ones had dried out, but I also have one in my testing section. I also have some brow products and eyeliners in there just for reference. For Liquid or gel, I don't really need more than one, so I'm going to put in the Physician's Formula and take out the Pretty Vulgar. I used all of these. I have the Remmel Nude one, a CoverGirl Navy one, and the ColourPop Mr. Bing. I like having about three. I have a brown in my testing drawer, so I'm going to not take out another brown. So this is what we're left with. I do like having a nude, so I'm going to pull this one in and maybe one more. I'm going to pull in this Mally like sky blue one. That might be fun to use. Okay, so I know this video is a bit of a hot mess. I know I already mentioned this as well, but it's a new style and it would take some getting used to if you like the idea of it versus how I did it before. And again, I'll have Glam Mom listed in the description box. You can kind of see how she does it and see the similarities and differences. You get the drill. Just as a reminder, I had this full basket here of all of my project pan items, which do go back once I'm done filming the video. I don't keep them separate. So we have, you know, my staples over here, the foundations, concealers, and primers that I pulled here. These are all of the cheek products and I have my like setting powders and stuff in here as well for the month. I think that's going to be a better number. I had a lot last time. I pulled in this setting spray, but I'm going to finish this one off since it's so close to being done. Eyebrows, eyeliners, etc. in here. Five single shadows to get more use out of. I also have a duo and another shadow in my project pan though, so that does look a lot more full. Then over here, this bin here is now empty because I put all those lip products away. These are the four palettes I have in my drawer right now. And plus I have this blush palette, which I did forget about, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to have to get more use out of this as well. So I probably shouldn't have pulled in the Pacifica one, but maybe the Pacifica one will just have to stay in for two rotations. And then this is the stuff I'm currently testing. So these are two bronzers. I have a foundation, lipstick, eyeliner, brow pencil, concealer, eyeshadow stick, mascara, um, lotion, and lashes. So there's still quite a bit in here to use for the month. I don't do my makeup every single day. So that's why maybe I don't pull in as much as other people. I am going to quickly show you up on my dresser not really the best angle but here we have all my brushes these are the brushes I'm kind of testing these are from the BH set most of them and I also put all my Luxie brushes in here just because I liked having all of my pinky brushes here probably weird but that's what's happening these are my smaller brushes eye brushes uh, I have under eye setting 
brush and stuff like that in this one. And these are all my big, bigger face brushes here. Move that over. These are all the lip products I just pulled. And these products over here are the ones I have yet to use from last time. I like shift these along. The first two slots are for my project pan items so that they're front and center ready to use. And then these are the ones I've pulled over the last little while that still need use. And I'll filter these products in here like as those rotate so that I'm using the ones that have been waiting the longest like this Revlon Ultra HD and the Rimmel um, Pink Chic Lipstick like those. These ones get used first. I don't know if that's making sense. It seems pretty convoluted, but it makes sure that I use every single lip product in my collection in a reasonable amount of time. So I don't know if you don't have a big makeup collection that probably makes absolutely no sense, but it does in my head. These are the Project Pan items, my nickel to attach my camera to my tripod, and I've actually been rotating my lotions and stuff too. Since I did, I did a bathroom declutter on my family channel, and I have way too many lotions and body butter, so I have this peach one from the body shop that's almost gone, so I'm going to try and finish that off this month. Okay, so that is everything in my everyday makeup drawer for the month of July. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and leave me your feedback on the format of this video down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!